Hey, hey, all you true believers over there in the union, Bob Taylor coming at you from Atomic City Comics on South Street in Philadelphia for New Comic Book Wednesdays, episode number 251, a little series I do here each week, just showing you all the new books that are coming out, things that I think are important, any new cons coming out, new toys hitting comic shops, so on and so forth. Um, just so you know, a new con coming up August 15th out in Carlisle, PA. I'll be set up there with my buddy, Sal, Sal Tori Ruggieri. We'll have our wares set up. And it's going to be our first con after the pandemic or during the pandemic or however, you're, however you want to look at it. But we're totally stoked. And the flea markets are back open, so that's cool too. Guys, I got great books to show you today. All right. I got a nice little stack. It's not a big week, but it's an important week. All right. Not a lot of hit the shelves this week, but some good stuff did. What's up? Brian Bradford, Diana Rios. Wave, wave, wave. All right. Let me get this started. All right. This is your recommended read of the week. If you're not, if you're only going to get one, this should be it, guys. All right, been waiting for this. A lot of people ask me to look out for it or hit me up. Yo, when that comes out, let me know. Well, I'm letting you know. All right. Negan Lives Number One is out. All right, guys. Awesome cover too, and I'm I'm told there are a few variant covers, although I haven't seen any yet. If you guys have any of the variant covers, just hail. Please let me know. Up upload them to the thread. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, next. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Urban Legends number 24 is out today. All right. And as I said in the opener, All America Comics with an X, number one, is out today. And this is a great book. This would have been your recommended read of the week had Negan Lives not come out. All right. Really, really cool piece. All right, guys. I'm just going to... Look at the artwork in there. Beautiful. All right, next. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Ring of Fire, number 15. All right. The Boys, great book if you guys never read it. The Boys, number two, is out today. All right, this one I keep turning upside down because it's weird because it's an upside down cover. Um, but this is Killing Red Sonia. All right, is out today, guys. All right. This is issue two, Killing Red Sonia. Erica. Erica. Osiris. I don't know how to say your name, dude, and I don't want to screw it up. All right, now. Each week, Michael Woodard and Jason Zizos and I get together and show you that horror comics do still exist. Well, this one was an awesome book back in the day, and it's finally back, and this is issue number two, and I love this book. If you guys haven't read it, this is Nail Biter Returns, guys. Great, great book. This is your horror book of the week. Uh, speaking of horror, get well, Jason Zizos. All right. Now, shit reading book of the week, and what I mean by that, you know what I mean by that. That's the book you take to the bathroom with you. All right, because one comic just ain't going to do it. Well, this is Excalibur Volume 1 is your trade paperback of the week, guys. All right. All right. Now, each week Diana Rios and I get together and we show you all the new pops that hit comic shops. All right. I got a cool one this week. Not sure if it's new. New to me. So I'm showing it anyway. But this is the awesome vintage Human Torch. All right, guys. Fantastic Four Human Torch. I really love this. It shows you all the other ones on the back that are available. By the way, even wearing a pop t-shirt today. All right. Now, I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to show you guys Vintage Book of the Week. That is your Vintage Book of the Week. Marvel Comics, number 1967, number 54. 12 Center, guys. Great, great book. All right, now, we got some cool toys in, all right, just two of them, but they're both dope. I really like this Spider-Man here. I'm not sure about this costume. At first, I thought it was like the 2099 costume, but it's kind of mashup. It's really dope, but I like it, all right, really cool. Marvel Select Spider-Man comes with like six different sets of hands, all sorts of stuff. Really, really, really cool piece. Okay. 
And I'm sure you guys have all seen this already, but this is the first time I'm actually holding one in my hands, and I really, really dig it. All right. But this came in. And he is adorable. All right. I want one so, 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 so bad. All right. But my girl ordered us the animatronic ones that are coming out, but they don't come out till December. But this is adorable, guys. I love it. All right. The only problem is, I, I have a friend of mine who has one. It doesn't have feet, it has like a bell bottom. But because the robe's long enough, you can't see it. But he is adorable. All right, and last but certainly not least, no new comic book that Wednesdays would be complete without a tiny nerd tape. And I really like this one. It's just simple, and I would wear this myself. Awesome Casey Jones shirt. Really loving that, guys. All right, guys, and that about wraps it up. Check us back here next week, same Bob time, same Bob channel, for episode number 252 of New Comic Book Wednesdays. And until then, don't forget, not only your toys, but your comics. We'll always have a home here in the Union. I'm Bob Taylor. That's my bit. Peace, love, toys, and comics. I am out, homies. Love yous all.